There's another new trail in Mount Canopolis. It's a lot steeper and faster than the Eye of the Wombat. The video doesn't do justice to how steep it is because of the GoPro effect. Now let's get into riding. Bit of a secret trail. I wouldn't recall a secret trail. It's on Trail Fork, so it's not really secret. Um, but it starts off on the Beehive Line Road. And this is quite um, pistoly coming down here, so just be careful. And coming along here, uh, log here. <laughs> I haven't ridden this track before. This is my first time going down here. Um, I mean, I've watched a video on YouTube before about this trail, so I know I know vaguely what to expect. Um, the Black Diamond Home Express is quite new. Um, I think it's built um, by just some locals around Orange. I've uh, got quite a few grasshoppers along here. Uh, it does get quite steep in some sections. Um, so it's quite nice so far. Um, this is one of the open fire roads. I don't actually know where this goes. <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> turns, down to, turns down to the left here. So there'll be some big trees and take a left down here just for those big trees. And this is where it dives in to go. It's quite steep. And it's called Loam Express because it makes its way through the loam. And it's quite nice actually looking at this trail. It's actually quite nice. It's, pr it's pretty steep. It's pretty raw. Um, nice and I think if it oh if it if it rains like the like a fair bit the day before come right here oh you'll get plenty of traction I think if that was raked out oh that's quite technical there I'll probably dive into there dive into that into that chute there this does get quite steep it sort of winds its way through fallen trees. I think if this trail was like sort of maintained on a basis, like sort of a regular basis, it would be quite nice. Because it's almost as, well I think, I'd say it's probably as steep as Jack's, probably, just about that. Ooh. Oh, it's quite, quite hard to keep my balance coming down here. Now this trail you can sort of do whatever you really want to like. I went, I sort of man of bike because people to walk down it sort of, Take whatever transport you need coming down here. It's fine. Um, so I'm walking down it, so that's I'm fine to walk down it. But I recommend that you don't even ride down this because it is quite hard to ride to walk down this, let alone ride down it. Ooh. Coming down here, Ooh, it does get quite steep coming down here because it's really steep. Got to get way behind your saddle. Way behind your saddle. Don't lock up. Do not lock up the wheels. If you lock up the wheels, oh, just hold on for dear life. <laughs> if I'm, I'm struggling to walk down it for a, for a start. <laughs> like it gets really steep. Whoa. Holy moly. This gets really steep. Really fast. So that's not, that's not fast at all really. It gets quite steep. Um, you might want to add a bit, bit of a bigger, bit of a berm going in there. If, if you're watching this, if you're a builder watching this, I'd, I would add a berm there, so you can sort of riders can have some, some sort of catch berm coming down here. Um, a bit off camber here, just make, just mind how you go. Bit of a shoot to dive into. Holy moly! I don't really know how stable the camera is, but oh, it was. Fast enough for me to run it down. <laughs> Bit off camera coming through here, but it's alright. Um, coming down through here, I think take the high line. Yeah, the high line might have been a bit better. Oh, I just might just go back around here. There was a bit of a web there. Tall people like me. Boy, oh, have a fun time. I think, yeah, take the. I think you probably could take the low line, but I think the high line would be the fastest. Low line would be the fun line, high line would be the fun. If this was a day the edge course, pick the high line. Uh, but it's not a day edge course, it's just a fun little day edge track. But then, oh, this is this is a good attempt for a berm. I mean, it's, I mean, 
It's not the kind of berm which you'd ride at full tilt because it's, you sort of come along a flat section and then dive into a really fast steep section. So you wouldn't really sort of want to rail that turn because you're, just, you're coming into that so fast. You could, it has enough support, but like this would be too fast to come into it. I'm coming down here down to another steep section. Oh, this one's not as steep as the first section, but it's definitely quite loose. Um, if you're a builder, if you're, if you're a builder and you're watching this, um, you might want to come along down the trail and rake it out. Sort of, you know, don't, don't pack it in. There's no need to pack it in, but just sort of rake it out and make it less loose because that's what would make it quite sketchy if it was raked out and it was all you know nice and smooth then you could come down here with a lot more speed and control and make it more fun um, coming down here is another fire road um, oh how do I get down this oh. Goodness me. Uh, there's a road here. You can't really get up it. <laughs> then you dive into here. Oh, nuts. Coming down here. Who we doing? Um, it's a one kilometer track as well, so it's not too long. So it's, it is long. It would, it's the same. Maybe about 70 meters shorter. Maybe 60 meters shorter than either one batch. Um, but it's definitely a lot steeper so you'd be able to come down here a lot faster and get it done quicker somewhat. Uh, coming down here looks as if they're attempting to build somewhat of a berm or trying to you know, signify where the trail goes. Coming down here with a non-existing fire road and then oh, this is quite nuts Ugh. and then you make it down here hardly oh just as you can if I'm gonna fall over it I'm gonna be worried about now that I fall over it oh I think I just noticed another the ruins of another old D8 trail here okay. oh I'm gonna Presume it's something that might be compatible with DH, I think, but I don't think so. I just saw somewhat of a burn, and I just like, thought, ooh, crap. <laughs> um, yeah, it's coming along here, a bit of a flat section before you dive into another fast little straightaway. Um, I think, yeah, if there was a burn there rather than just a straight flat switchback, you might be able to carry your speed through there, but. I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, it kind of is necessary, but it's not as necessary as you think it would be. I'm coming down here. We've got another straightaway. Um, it doesn't need a burn here, but I think if, it, if there was some support here, it would be nice. Um, again, coming down here, I think this wouldn't be in need of a burn because it's quite flat. Well, not a burn, but maybe some sort of support as you come around the corner like if it was a bit if it was a sharp turn then you would need to burn but just somewhat of a support that would be better oh here we go this is the jumpy section coming down here uh, quick I, I wouldn't jump this I would probably just sort of pump it you could, you could definitely jump it, I don't really think it would make any difference to your speed if you pumped or jumped it. Um, coming down here, it looks as if trees need to be cut, obviously. I mean, obviously they're, they're, they were falling down, but then they had to be sort of, you know, cut. Coming down here, <laughs> hold my nose. Coming down here, uh, we got a sketchy jump. I don't know how sketchy it is, but it just looks sketchy. Like, just, it looks really sketchy. It probably doesn't, it's not a big gap or anything, but it's just, it's just you know, the kind of thing which you want to take care on. Uh, coming up here, obviously you can see the tire mark there. Nice and chill. Just coming with sort of trail running pace, I'd sort of, you know, trail pace. Well, not trail pace, riding pace. And then you can clear it to the right lane fine, easy. 
So like, don't go really slow down there because like if you go down really slow you might you might be able to make it but it might be sort of, you know, your wheel might catch on the back of the landing coming down. Somewhat, I don't really know. <laughs> Have we not hit it, I don't really know how to do it, but I'm just thinking looking at it, I think trail pace. Riding riding pace would be pretty chill right now here. Uh, we're getting into some rocks down through here, so there's actually a bit of a change from the, all the loam. Um, a bit off camber, but not too bad, it's alright. As long as you carry your pace along here, you'll be, you'll be fine. Um, coming along here, oh, I think that's a road now. And then I think, sort of run down here. Whoa! Oh, I think it's stitches. Oh, oh, this is quite steep. Well, it's steep as you could dive in. It's not too bad, it's all rollable. Oh. So we've got a big port on the rock there. Come down here into some gum leaves now. Through some gum trees. This bit gets quite slippery. Just from looking at it, I think it gets quite slippery. Um, but not too bad. Not too bad. I'm getting quite a stitch though. My <laughs> like the kind of stitch you get from walking for so long. Uh, I'm walking down here. Oh, gee. Trail conditions change these right down here. Oh, this gets quite steep. So it's not, it's definitely, it's rideable steep, but it's like not, you know, it gets quite white. Like moving some rocks there off the trail. Dusty hands there. Oh, this gets quite steep. Nothing too bad, but it just, you want some good brakes coming down here. Ooh, this is, oh, if I can barely walk down this, be, oh, there it is. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely ride down, it's not too bad, but it's just, you know, it's quite hard to walk down, because it's the kind of stuff if you, if you walk down it, you'd have a harder time walking down it than if you do riding down it, you know? Yeah, this is kind of the stuff where it's like, you know, you gotta lean back, don't look at your brakes, and just hold on to dear life. Because it's like going down a straight vertical hill. Oh, I'm just tensing up so much in my legs. Oh. Whoa, picking up pace now. Alright, and come down here, we got another, I don't know where to come out, I think, down here, and then, oh, uh, well the, I think the trail does come out down here somewhere. Okay, that's the end of the video there. Don't make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to commit everything, write everything and shred everything. Bye.